So are you trying to repeatedly sending the same email? In today's video, I will introduce a game changing feature in Microsoft Outlook that automates your email scheduling, saving you time and efforts. Hi, I am Amit and welcome to Mail Smartly. Let's set up this recurring email together. So if you see in my Microsoft inbox, I have few emails which I have received on the daily basis, which is daily progress report. But the only difference is the date. Every day I receive the email, but the date changes. And the email consists of that daily progress report attachment. So Microsoft Outlook is completely free. But to utilize this feature, you will need to access it online through your Microsoft 365 account, whether it's free or paid version. So open your browser and navigate to your Microsoft 365 account. So I am currently on my Microsoft 365 Outlook. So once logged in, click on the app launcher on the top left corner to view all the available apps. Now here you will need to select Power Automate. So click on Power Automate to open it and we will create an automation from there. So in Power Automate, we will create a flow by selecting this create button from the left navigation options and then choosing the schedule cloud flow. Although there are multiple templates available for different results, but in this case, I need to select scheduled cloud flow. So this setup will define how often you want the email to be sent automatically. For instance, I need to automate sending a daily project report, the report saved in my cloud. So this is my cloud and I have saved this folder and, and in this folder there is a daily progress report and I need to be emailed to my senior management at 8 p.m. daily. So I need to attach the latest report and include the current date in the subject line as I have already shown you in my email. And this assure quick access to a specific report whenever needed. So when I again go to the Power Automate, now first you need to name your flow. So I name it daily. Now here I need to first select the start date. By default, it will take current date. Now I need to set up the time. So as per my requirement, I need to select 8 p.m. So within the flow setup, you can specify the frequency. So I need to repeat every one. And here I need to drop, click on this drop down and select one day. That means this flow will run every day. Now hit create. Now you will see this recurring option already appears. Currently I am on my new designer. Although I have my paid account, so I can check out this new design. In case if you are using a free version, you will see this kind of interface. I simply turn off the toggle like this. When you click on this recurring, my interval one day. And if you click on this, you can also adjust advanced options such as time zones and the specific times to ensure the email arrive preciously when needed. So currently I don't need anything to change here. I simply click on this hide. Now, after configuring the schedule, add a new step to define the action. Now here I need to search for OneDrive and select OneDrive for business. Or you can also select OneDrive if you are using a personal account. So I using my business account, so I use OneDrive for business. Now here you need to choose the get file content. So this will allow you to select your folder, which is already saved in your OneDrive. Now here you have to click on the show picture, find your file. I simply click on this, click on this show contents. So here is my folder, daily progress summary. I again click on this and this is my Excel file. Select it and your file is added in this option. So here is my Excel file I need to send as attachment. Now the next step is to search for Outlook. Simply click on next step, select for Outlook. Now you will see if you are using 365 account, you have to select this. If you need to select the free version, you can use outlook.com. So I simply use this option. 
Now choose send an email. So currently send an email V2 is available, but simply select on it. Now you will see you have to fill out some important information such as to subject body. So compose your email to specify the recipient. So I type my own email address to show you the results. Select my own email address. Now the subject. Now I type subject which is daily progress report. I put a dash. Now the very important part is to add the current date. This email is sent on the daily basis and I need that date will be updated. So after this daily progress report in the subject line, put a space and hit. I also put brackets. Now in the middle of the bracket, I need to first select this, add an expression. You can also use control shift space. So I simply enter a specific script, which I have also added in the description section. So I type format date time bracket UTC now again bracket comma space now I type dd dash mmm dash y y y y four y's now this is the expression so what is UTC now so this function retrieves the current date and time and this dd triple m and four times y so dd represent the day Triple M represent the month in abbreviated form like Jan, Fab, March and four Y's represent the full year. So simply I copy this expression, hit save. Now you will see this expression is added in the daily progress report with the subject line. Now the subject line is set. Now the body of the content. So I have already created a message. I simply copy from my notepad and simply hit paste over here. Now, dear sir, please find the attachment, the daily progress report for. Now here also I will need to insert the date. So again, put my cursor over here. Again, go to this add in script, paste the script. I have already, I need to again pay, copy the script from here. I just copy from here, put my cursor here, go to expressions once again and simply paste it. Hit save. Now the same expression also added over here. Summarize the key progress, completed task and pending activities. Let me know if any further details are required. So I have already created the draft and I also prefer to add the same current date in the draft as well. So I have already added it. Once again, I repeat the same process. I have put my cursor I needed to add the date and repeat the same process, add the expression. Now my email is ready. The final step is to adding that attachment. So first click on the show advanced options. Now here you will see some other options which is enabled for me such as from CC, BCC and here is the attachment section. Now here you will see attachment name and attachment content. So I personally recommend you to give the attachment name exactly the same as you have named your file. So again I go to this here daily progress summary i go here and type daily summary now again now click on this attachment content now here you need to click on this add a dynamic value you can also use control space keyboard shortcut to directly jump on it now here you can need to select the file content this file content is fetched from the above step you have already added in that excel file to get the file content so this is my file content I have added here. So once again, you can format the email as needed. You can also add CC over here. You can add BCC over here. You can also add the sensitivity at the importance of the email. Once everything is set, save the flow. You will see your flow is ready to go. We recommend you to test it. So to test the flow, you can manually trigger it to ensure it works as expected. So simply click on this test click on manual, hit text and you will see run flow. Your flow run successfully started. To monitor it, go to the flow run page. Simply hit on this, go back and you will see this 28 days run history, current date and this flow is tested successfully. Now I want to hit on my inbox or on my Outlook inbox. Now you will see the mail received the subject line is here with the date. 
the attachment is also there now if you go back to power automate and hit on my flows you can check out you can where you can add it run or disable your flow anytime you want it so by utilizing power automate you can automate repetitively tasks like sending recurring emails making your workflow more efficient i hope this tutorial has been helpful feel free to explore more features of power automate to enhance your productivity so if you have learned something new from this video please like and subscribe my youtube channel and please don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any outlook tips and problem solvers videos i come up with thank you and have a nice day